Salam, ma'am. What is your name, sir? Uh, my name is Brother Brandon 2X. And can you spell that for me? Uh, B R A N D O N 2X. Thank you. Okay, I have a few questions for you. The first one is How or when were you introduced to the Nation of Islam? Um, to be honest with you, I was introduced to the, uh, to the Nation of Islam at the ripe age of six years old. I remember hearing snippets of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan on television, mm -hmm. and there was something magnetic about that voice. And I remember telling my grandmother, who you know, I was raised by, uh, she asked me, she, uh, she said, Boy, uh, what do you want to be when you get older? I said, like him. She said, you don't know what, you don't know what that would be. You don't know what he talking about. I, I knew what he was talking about. Um, as, I, as I continued to get older, you know, in high school, you know, many, many uh, brothers and sisters have posters of, you know, of Michael Jordan or Magic Johnson on their wall. I have posters that I don't know, Minister Louis Farrakhan. My friends would come over and they'd be like, who is that? I was like, you don't know who that is, brother? I would, then, then I would have to, you know, give them, you know, uh, what I knew what the 411 was, you know, in school, every, whenever they used to ask me to do a, bio, a bio, biographical report, I would always do it on Honorable Minister Lewis mm -hmm. So it's, it's been a long time, a long labor of love and interest with yes, the Nation sir. of Islam for me. Yes, sir. Okay. What made you join the Nation of Islam? Uh, I didn't have a choice. There was no other choice for me. You know, I was going through kind of, I guess you could say a midlife crisis. I'm a young old man, but... Um, I wasn't feeling well. I was going through a lot of, you know, emotional and, and physical illnesses at the time, uh, and I had, I had, I had financial gain. I had multiple college degrees. I, I was, I owned my own home. I was doing all, all the things that, you know, that, that uh, a black man's supposed to do in America. But I was so empty, mm -hmm. and I, uh, so I started back listening to uh, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. And when I did, you know, I always made the assumption that I would hear about being pro-black when I listened mm -hmm. to him. But what I heard about was God. 99% of what I heard was love God, love self, but love God. I didn't really know that God was self at that time. Mm. So, you know, the more I, I, I researched, the more, you know, I, I kept seeking that information, there was no other choice. It was so heavy, the supreme wisdom and the teachings and uh, 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 the most honorable uh, Elijah Muhammad was so heavy, I had to go seek out some other people to talk to it about. It was just too heavy. I thought I was intelligent until I saw that. Yes, sir. Okay. How has the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad impacted your life? It has turned my it's turned my life from being lost, mm -hmm. self-loathing, depressed, mm -hmm. into you know a, a champion for others. Mm -hmm. You know, I've always had that. I've always had this spirit of giving, and I didn't really understand what that spirit was about. I've always mm -hmm. I've, I've been addicted to giving, mm -hmm. but now now I understand what it was what it was about. It was a calling for me. And so the teachers have, have offered me a peace that I never knew was possible. This is the happiest, you know, three or four years I've ever had in life. You know, out of all my 39 years on this planet, I've never been this happy ever in my life. It's brought me peace and love. I didn't know this type of brotherhood and sisterhood could even exist for the black man and woman in America. And so, um, to me, it's been a, it's been a godsend. It's been a life raft. It's been, you know, you know, you know, you know how some of those. Uh, the ambulance rubbed the little thing together mm -hmm. and jolt your chest. Mm -hmm. It was a chest jolt for real for me. Mm, praise be to Allah. Okay, last question. What does Minister Farrakhan mean to you? The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is a father I did have but didn't have. Mm. You know, I, I was raised by, raised with my father, but he didn't know uh, the type of manhood and God training to teach me that the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan has taught me. You know, I looked up to him, but what I didn't really understand was, was that his God awoken my God, mm. right? So, so him, he, so, so that's why I say he was the father I didn't know, because you know uh, it's it's strange how you know if, if if you teach a lion to be something other than itself, the only time it can actually remember what it's naturally supposed to do is if it sees another lion roaring. You say, wait, I can do that? I can roar? <laughs> okay. So the honorable minister Louis Farrakhan has been a, a teacher in my life, and I, I just want to help and continue on whatever leadership. Uh, Whatever mission that he has us on, that's the one I'm on. Yes, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Absolutely.